Welcome to Pan Branch Designs. In this video, I'm going to decoupage a glass jar. First, I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to paint it with white chalk paint. My chalk paint is a little old and a little lumpy, so I'm going to apply two coats and give the paint a light sanding in between the two coats. The paper that I'm using is a lightweight tissue paper that's available on my website. There's a link below. It's a lot lighter than the typical rice paper that I usually print on. Before I apply the paper to the jar, I'm going to use a little water around the edges so that I can tear away at the excess paper. Having a rough edge on the um, outside of the paper helps it to blend in better on the jar. Because this is a lightweight paper, I'm going to use napkin glue. I'm going to apply the glue first and then I'll place my paper on top of the glue. I'm using my finger to press the paper down onto the jar. What you can do is use some plastic wrap between your fingers and your paper to avoid any um, tears or damage to this lightweight tissue paper. You may have noticed I start at the center of the paper and then just work my way outward. One of the ways to avoid tears and wrinkles and bubbles in your project is to make sure your surface is smooth and also to just take your time. Patience is important. I think the faster you go when you have very lightweight paper like this, the more likely you are to, to rip the paper or damage the image. I'm considering this more of an intermediate project because there is the use of glass and it's a round surface as opposed to a typical sort of beginner flat project. Also, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm skipping over showing a lot of the painting and the prepping of the surface, meaning like washing it with the goo gone and just jumping right into the project. One thing I noticed after I was working on this project is that this paint, this chalk paint, is not the brightest white. It's actually called porcelain. So you can see here very slightly that uh, the paint is a little more off-white than it is bright white. That's something that you want to consider when you're purchasing your chalk paint. Pay close attention to how white the white actually is. This particular glue is also a sealant, so I'm just lightly going over the project with uh, a little bit of glue. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the paper that will be applied to the other side of the jar. You may notice that I'm dipping my foam brush directly into my jar of glue. I would suggest not doing that. A better practice is to put a small amount of glue into a separate container. That way you're not dipping your brush back into your original container of glue after um, 
touching your project. You know, there could be little bits of sandpaper or little bits of paper um, that get attached to your foam brush and then you're dipping it back into the glue and um, you don't want to contaminate your actual jar of glue. Another tip is I used Goo Gone to remove the little sticky adhesive from the jar. I didn't show it, it's, uh, I just followed the instructions on the back of the jar. If you do find that there's still some residue, you can also use rubbing alcohol. That also helps to take um, any residue off the jar. You wanna make sure your jar is very clean before you apply your paint and your glue. Because there's a bit of overlap of the image here, I'm just gonna use a little more water using my paintbrush so that I can rip away at some of the excess paper. Now that I have both sides complete, I think it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna put one more layer of sealant, that same napkin glue, um, all around the entire jar. I'm gonna add a little twine on the top of the jar to just add a finishing touch. And I also have to look around for the top of the jar. I'm not sure where I put it. All right, I'm putting the change back in my change jar and I'm gonna just put it up on the shelf. Please feel free to click the like button and also subscribe for more content. If you'd like to join our community over on Facebook, there's a link below for our Facebook group. Thanks for watching.